Okay, here we're going to tie another shark fly. This one's going to be a short shank shark fly. I've already showed you the long shank one. I like to throw both of them. They both seem to work equally as well, but I figured I'd tie this one for you real quick. This one's pretty simple and easy to tie. I'm going to go ahead and tie in some red slinky fiber on a Gamagatsu number no. 5 hook. I'm going to throw in some, yeah, just a few strands of olive pearl flash. Maybe even some blue flash. Again, this is one of those flies where whatever you've got laying around, lots of times you can incorporate it into the fly. wasn't planning on putting that blue flash in there but it just happened to pick up with the olive flash so might as well go ahead and stick it on in Got it wrapped in there. Adjust it right where we want it. Want it down the side and kind of spread the fibers out or the flash out just a little bit. Trim away some of that excess there. Okay, go ahead and throw some cement on these wraps. Usually after a few sharks or maybe even one shark this fly is shot anyway but try and make it look nice. Okay now we're going to come through with some red or pink uh, Estes material here, Estes Grande. I'm going to go ahead and bring your thread back. We're going to wrap this in and palmer it forward. Work your thread back to the front. Builds up a nice little body there. I've got my bobbin holder, but I seem to rarely use it. Just let it flip around the hook there instead. All right, we'll tie off this Estes material. Trim off the excess. Trim away any of this Estes material that's near the hook eye just a little. Try not to cut your, your thread that you've got hanging there. Actually, we'll go ahead and wrap this off real quick. Go ahead and put the eyes on now. And we're going to come back to this at this point in a minute. Okay. The eyes of this fly go towards the back here, right at the bend of the hook shank. You want to clean out some of this Estes material. And we're going to hot glue the eyes right on. And try and get a nice little area there by the hook shank where we can attach these eyes in. doesn't have to be too pretty there alright get you some hot glue go ahead and apply that to the back of your eye these are about half inch eyes these aren't the particular eyes that I like to use for this fly but these uh, will do a good job I like to use the sil uh, silver holographic eyes but everybody's all out of them right now so these will work just as good these actually are probably a little bit more durable go ahead and stick the eye on the other side here get them lined up nice and even 
that's a little on the bottom there we go all right take a look from the front make sure everything is nice and leveled out I like to come through here and fill the spot in the middle with the uh, hot glue kinda makes it just a little more durable doesn't have to be anything special and the same thing on the bottom There we go. Hold that there for a second till it dries. Perfect. Okay. We come back to the front of this fly, trim away some of this Estes material that's in the way of your eyes. We got to reattach our thread. Put in just a little more material on this fly and we are all done. Alright, I have to come in now with some purple slinky fiber. Reattach your thread. Go right halfway in the middle of this slinky fiber. Half of it's going to go on the top. work this through the eye of the hook here try and get it nice and even it looks pretty good work it on down perfectly over the hook there get try and get it nice and even pull it through here so you can see how it's going to look There we go. Now we're going to take in some blue flash. Take about four strands, stick them on the top here. Get them right centered up and about four more strands stick them right on the bottom There we go. Alright, finish wrapping everything off nice here. I'm going to go ahead and whip finish everything off. kinda of gotta tie these flies pretty quick I've got 10 minutes on these videos to make it happen or not make it happen so sometimes if you see me rushing and everything isn't quite as perfect that's why put some epoxy on here and this fly is all done hope you like it back you out a little bit here you can see the entire fly